And welcome back. A beautiful finish to a fantastic day across the region. Temperatures warmed up so nicely today, easily breaking records in many spots across the region. Again, a great finish to our day as well. Very pleasant evening. 42 degrees as where we're at in Fargo right now. Southwest wind at three miles per hour. Moorhead uh, looking at temperature currently at 41 degrees. For Grand Forks, we're looking at 37 degrees out there right now with a southwest wind at six miles per hour. We take a look at other temperatures around the region. We've got 39 degrees Jamestown, 40 in Bemidji right now, 41 Detroit Lakes. Detroit Lakes saw 52 earlier today, 37 in Devil's Lake. And again, with a very light wind, a couple areas experiencing wind chills that are maybe a degree or two below what the actual air temperature is. Satellite and radar image we got for you, just nothing going on here. Today's high temperatures, 52 in Fargo. Again, the record. 44 set back in 2009, so broke it by 8 degrees. In Grand Forks hit 49 today. For 44, the old record, again also set back in 2009, so broke it by 5 degrees. Jamestown 55, our high today. 52 Valley City, 52 Detroit Lakes. Uh, snow depth, nothing really to show you here, certainly in terms of Fargo areas west and south. You head north, Grand Forks National Weather Service, about an inch on the ground there right now. So if you head a little farther north, we're seeing two, three, four inches of depth. Roseau, but really though, it, that is so far below the norm for this time of year. And again, a lot of areas not seeing any of that snow depth at all. Satellite and radar. We've got this upper level ridge high pressure really dominating what's going on across most of the western half of the United States, keeping clouds away, keeping showers away, unless you're right there on the west coast and those temperatures are mild. First alert forecast moving into the overnight hours. We'll see kind of that mix of clouds and clearing temperatures dropping down into the mid 20s by tomorrow morning. Then we start to warm things up. Not as warm tomorrow as today. We'll see more cloud cover as well. Still going to hit about 44 in Fargo tomorrow, calling for about 41 Jamestown as some mid to upper 30s as well for those highs. Winds pick up out of the south as we had a little bit later into the day tomorrow. Again, you see some of these highs around the region. 42, Wapton 36 for Thief River Falls and Roseau tomorrow. We're expecting 36 as well. Devils Lake 35 in Grand Forks and 44 in Fargo. Temperature trend again, we are so far above what is expected. What is norm for this time of year for the next seven days? Then we bring it down a couple notches. We're still above normal and quite a bit as we head toward the second half of next week, but it'll feel a little more like normal. So again, we've got a lot of 40s, 44, Thursday, Friday, 47, Saturday, Sunday. Next chance of precipitation, at least a real genuine chance where it's actually going to make an impact would not be till next late Wednesday, Thursday, and then into Friday and Saturday. It does look like we're going to hit a period where it is going to be uh, wetter for several days, but again, that's over a week away. It feels like that spring thaw outside. We might yeah. see in April or almost right. May, but I know we're not there yet. I know people are getting excited, but. We'll see snow. We, we'll see, we will see snow. Yes, how much it remains to be seen at this point. I think it's good to be excited regardless. It's the mood it. booster. We all need enjoy it. Enjoy it while you can. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Rob.